So OTB, MTB, I've been watching his videos for quite some time and yesterday, I think it was yesterday, he put out a wee post with a video clip on Instagram saying why did my action camera blow out all the highlights? Why was it too bright? This is a video response to help him but also to help anybody else that's watching. You can get tied down in all the details of this. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible and I'm doing it off the cuff. It's not scripted at all. So forgive the wee pauses, the errors that I make, but I'll correct them as I go, hopefully. I'm trying to make this simple. Basically, there's three adjustments you can make. And when you're using action cameras, there's only two you can make. Oh dear, I'm giving you the fingers. There's only two you can make. This is how to use an action camera and get good exposure every time. So these are my action camera settings and why I use them. I record in 4K at 30 frames per second, super view. I set my shutter speed to automatic. My ISO is set to 100 minimum, 800 maximum. I have exposure compensation dialed down half a stop, so minus 0.5. That's to try and protect the highlights in the video, the bright parts. You don't want them blowing out and going pure white. Now, action cameras, they nearly always have, in fact I think they all have, a fixed aperture lens. In these things it's f2.8 so if you want to change how bright or dark your image is you can't change your aperture you can only change your shutter speed or your ISO I let my shutter be auto and I let my ISO be auto now I'll stop the action camera and I'll show you some video from this camera that I'm recording on here to show you how they change the light values of the image that you're recording the exposure don't adjust your video screens this image is not exposed correctly I'm demonstrating this so my current settings are setting the shutter speed to 30th of a second the aperture f2.8 same as what the GoPro would be and I'm on auto ISO so it's too bright right too much light getting in you need to take some light away to get the correct image you could change your ISO or you could change your shutter speed remember the action camera has a fixed aperture we can't change that so if I change my shutter speed, I'm currently recording at a 30th of a second. There's a 60th, still too bright. 1 one twenty fifth, still too bright. 1 two fiftieth, get in there, but still a bit bright. The highlights are being blown out. 1 five hundredth, that's pretty much where you would want it. Yes, there is a wee bit of clipping in the highlights, but it's not too bad. One one thousandth, starting to get a bit dark. Back to what I record at, a thirtieth of a second. Far too bright. Even on a, d sorry, I don't, <laughs> sorry. OTB was recording at one for one over 48 so pretty much a 50th of a second and that's why his highlights were being blown out he should have had his shutter speed on auto along with his ISO on auto the GoPro would only adjust the ISO when it needed to and his base ISO should have been 100 if I replicate his settings 100 ISO this camera can only do 30th or 60th there's 30th far too bright 60th too bright 
125th too bright. 250th getting there, one five hundredths. Pretty decent at that. So he should have had his shutter speed on auto. As well as ISO on auto. In the bright places, it would increase the shutter speed to get rid of some light. Then when you go in, the, in under the tree canopies where it's a lot darker, it would slow the shutter speed down to let in more light and give them a good exposure for both. And that's basically it. Yes, he could have recorded at his shutter speed of 1 50th of a second. But even on a day like this, 100 ISO, 50th of a second, still too bright. He would have needed a neutral density lens or neutral density filter over his lens to bring the light levels down a bit at his settings. So that's why I recommend auto ISO, auto shutter, and then the action camera's aperture is fixed at 2.8. That's the settings I use. That's default. Always go there. Nighttime or you know dark sections of wood late on in the evening very low light levels so the GoPro or whatever action camera you use would bump up the ISO in that case and lower the shutter speed and try to get you as good an image as you can the higher the ISO the more digital grainy noise will be in the image but these are the what's the word you just have to live with these things it's the limits of the technology bigger sensor would have less noise that's why which one is it I think it's the DJI 4 has a bigger sensor possibly the Insta360 Ace Pro it, I think there's been people talking about bigger sensors than it so you get a cleaner image out of those when you're in the higher ISOs but the same basics apply for every camera you need your correct exposure so you control your light as best you can. All right, Niall, Neil, Ned, whatever you're called, OTB, MTB. I hope that was useful to you. I hope it was informative and you should have no problem going forward. Yes, MD filters. I would like to use them myself. I haven't got any. I would like to use them to get the shutter speed down slower get a wee bit more movement into the image, make it look more like the actual trail speed because YouTube videos make it look quite slow and that's because between the brightness of the day and the automatic settings of the action cameras the shutter speed goes too high but it's a compromise, it's what you have to do to get the correctly exposed image